That's right, Jeff. There are so many concerns for folks who live in these burn areas, and this particular woman was worried that what remains of her burned out house could slide into the Santiam River if conditions get worse. When we went, the trees were still falling. Shawnee Selmer and her family went back September 12th to see what remained of their home. Their feet crunched on the charred remains, capturing images of her daughter's blackened bike frame, a bombed out work van containing the remains of tools used in the family's commercial flooring business. Even when we were up there, everything was just shifting down, everything was just falling. And lighter color paving stones mark where the house once stood, the bulk of it now sliding towards a ledge. The family fears heavy rains could wash away what's left. Because we lived on a, a cliff, so everything's kind of just going to shove off the cliff, it looks like. All the houses that are burned. State officials say the red areas on this map show places that were susceptible to landslides before the fires. Add to it a hard hit fire area like Lyons, Detroit, or Mill City, and concerns mount. People live in these areas um, or are passing through these areas during these uh, periods of rainfall that we're going to have in the next 24 hours or so. They should be really uh, cautious. Burns suggests that people examine the map and if they're traveling through or live in some of the more dangerous areas, they stay alert or prepare to evacuate. During the event, really need to be stay, uh, stayed alert, um, also stay awake. Uh, in some cases, uh, these things happen at night and um, we don't want to be asleep. Shawnee's family is hoping rain will put out fires and will stop short of causing any more chaos. They created a GoFundMe page to help Shawnee and two-year-old Adeline get back on their feet. But everybody's been super supportive and it's been a really great help. And we'll put a link to that family's GoFundMe page on our website at coin.com under this story. Also, Burns is reminding people that the watches and warnings for the flood watch go all along the Cascades in most areas from one end of the state to the other. So he says you don't have to live in a burn area or wildfire area to have concerns over flash flooding with this rain event. So he says to be alert. Back to you. All right, Jennifer Dowling. Let's